When rehousing a colony of roly polies, I found a skull of a fish and some scorpions. Well, pseudoscorpions. In my isopod bin. <laughs> For the new bin I am enriching some old cocoa fiber substrate from a giant African land snail enclosure with some rotten wood and compost and garden soil and so on and I mix it thoroughly. I also have some additional bark and a little bit of fresh leaf litter and of course some calcium sources in the form of cuttlefish bone. This should be enough. This is the old bin. It was actually featured on the isopod setup reviews at Supreme Gecko. But now it's a bit more chaotic uh, than back then, but uh, the isopods like it this way, I guess. Aww, look at them, happily munching on algae and excess moss from my aquariums. Well, we need some room in the new bin for some of the old materials. I think I will uh, put them all in there. Oh, and uh, some critters uh, were among the enrichment materials. I will take this big spider out. And now it's time to dismantle the old bin. Ah, yes, they have reproduced quite considerably. They are crawling in every corner. Under the cuttlefish bone. And in the old sponge cloths from my glowworm enclosures. Uh, uh, whoa. D d d do you see what I see? Right there? That's a pseudoscorpion. They are also called uh, book scorpions. I guess it's feeding on the springtails. Oh, and there's another one. Slightly smaller. Interesting. Anyway, I don't have much time right now, unfortunately, so I'm just moving on and I just uh, let them stay in the colony. And uh, what do we have here? El Blanco, my last blind cave tetra, died last month. I had it since 2008. I was going to record a time lapse of it being eaten by the isopods, but I didn't. You're welcome. Ah, look, only the skull is left, and it's falling apart. And it's crawling with springtails. This is actually the first time I will be lifting this piece of corkbuck, and you can see, yes, uh, they have reproduced. I um, did put in the more aberrant color morphs of the roly polies I collected into uh, this container, and uh, well, I must say, not very uh, astonishing. I think even the plain black eye supports in my uh, temporary snail enclosure uh, might even be nicer looking. I have transferred now the entire soil of the old bin into the new bin and now I will be adding back the uh, fresh leaf litter that I collected. And yeah, they seem to have fed on this old uh, corn cob, so I will put it back. And some more additional bark, and uh, that's it. Hmm, the pseudoscorpions might even have arrived by hitching a ride on a fly that was attracted to the dead fish. They are well known to do that. Maybe I will set up a separate enclosure for them in the future. I already had this in mind for a different small arachnid. And keep up the work.